Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I've been hearing this for more than a year so far, and, and that is the Ukrainians' uh, uh, air defense systems and um, you know the fighters that they have, the air supremacy that they have in Ukraine prevents the Russians from really doing anything uh, on the um, uh, Ukrainian territory, that is, using their bombers over the territory. So basically, the Ukrainians defend their uh, airspace so well that the Russians do not dare to come close. And uh, that might be true. Up to uh, June or July this year, when, according to the leaks from the Pentagon, the Ukrainians are going to be <coughs> done. Unless, obviously, you and I uh, will give them um, per the decision of our uh, elected officials. Okay? And that's going to happen. So, uh, what's going to happen after that? The Russians will muster some courage, according to Business Insider, and will send their prized bomber jets. So, Putin may be preparing to bring Russia's prized bomber jets to the war on Ukraine after leaked military intelligence found Ukrainian air power will be completely reduced by June, reports say. So we got what? Uh, April, May, by June. So let's say two months, done. Supposedly this is the uh, Suhoi 57th, fifth generation. Intelligence documents were leaked this week revealing American and NATO plans in the Ukraine war. The New York Times reported the documents said current Ukraine air power will be depleted by summer. Facing a weakened air force, Russia may be emboldened to bring out bomber jets it has reserved from combat. Military intelligence leaked online this week indicated Ukraine air defenses will be depleted by the end of May, which may embolden Russian President Vladimir Putin to bring reserved fighter jets to the front lines. Oh, they still got airplanes? You see how we find things, find things out from other articles that are not meant to give you the information. I thought they don't have any more uh, fighter jets or bombers or anything, they're just done. And now we find that actually Ukraine air defenses will be depleted by the end of May. Ukrainians are rapidly using up stores of munitions faster than allies can replenish them, insider previously reported. How come? I thought that capitalism is stronger in Western Europe and America and Canada than in the backward Russian. Uh, you know, capitalism. At the current rate of use, the leaked documents say Ukrainian air defenses will be completely reduced by May 23rd, the New York Times reported. The veracity of the documents is still being investigated, though some versions circulating online have been edited, insider previously reported. Without increased military aid, that's exactly what they are talking about which Ukrainian, <laughs> Ukrainian, my, uh, where President of Ukraine Zelensky has repeatedly told allies should come in the form of F-16 jets, the New York Times reported Russia may be emboldened to bring out bomber jets it has been saving from facing Ukraine defenses that have so far destroyed 280 Russian planes. Not 279, not 281. Exactly 280. That's why I don't believe it. Now, fighting against a weakened Ukrainian Air Force, increased Russian firepower could change the course of the war. That's why, that's why send those F-16s. Russia has so far held back its most advanced jets, including its much touted Suhoi 57 stealth fighter, from the front lines of the war over fears that they would be shot down. Well, you don't know if those were the fears or you know if you would get the job done with the biplanes from the First World War. Why should you use the these guys right here? Correct? Why is not my uh, scenario the one used here but theirs? <laughs> because they are saying they're part of the deal. 
Representatives for the Pentagon declined to answer insiders' questions regarding the leaked documents or strategy details they purport to show, but provided an emailed statement reading in part, and I'm quoting, the Department of Defense continues to review and assess the validity of the photographed documents that are circulating on social media sites and that appear to contain sensitive and highly classified material, end quote, adding that the matter has been referred to the Department of Justice, which has opened a criminal investigation, end quote. Well, I have something to say. A lot, actually. Remember when um, Seymour Hirsch, that investigative journalist, the Pulitzer Prize winner, the guy that, uh, you know, uncover the Mai Lai massacre in 1968 in uh, Vietnam. Remember when he said about the Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2? The American government, the US government, came and, uh, how do you call it, uh, said that's not, it was not us right there the next day or so. So they uh, immediately refuted the, uh, the accusations or the report coming from uh, Seymour Hirsch. In this case, they need a week to figure out if uh, uh, do those uh, documents coincide with the documents we have. That's basically what they have to figure out. And if they coincide, um, most likely it was a leak. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, they are pulling our legs right now. They, they're trying to figure out what to say. Uh, you know? So. The Russians uh, will deploy those bombers? Probably not. They don't have to. Why would you take a chance, right? But on the other hand, people say, well, if they're that good, why don't you use them? That's a valid question. If they're so good, why don't you use them? And I'm pretty sure the Russians will use them. And if one of those would be shot down, they will deny it forever. Why? Because after all, you have to prove that they were used in active combat so then you can sell them to the Indians, to the Chinese, the Brazilians, to whomever, you know, for the market. Otherwise, you know, well, we have these beautiful planes that fly, but we don't know how they uh, really uh, behave in a hot war. No, you want them to be over there. So then why do you think the Americans use the HIMARS for the same reason? So they can sell them better and say, hey, the HIMARS are the perfect ones. The Russians did not destroy one. Buy one, get one free. You know what I mean? That's why the the whole reason with high Mars and attack and all those things. And they're going to send the Abrams and all that just to prove, hey, they're, 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 they're good. But I think the Abrams, they use them, but not the modern ones or the Leopard and so on. For the reason for sell. That, that's what's going on over there. It's a, how do you call it? It's an advertisement. These are commercials for the industrial military industrial complex. That's what it is. That's, why do you think that they, they keep repeating this and repeating that? We send them this, high Mars do this, blah, 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 blah. It's because uh, we really give a fuck. I don't, I don't think so. It's because other buyers have to, oh, high Mars, oh, I heard about high Mars, and so on. So the Russians probably will use those somewhere, you know, far away. But nobody will know how uh, um, involved they were during the war. And then when they're going to have those shows, they're going to say, hey, shh. And they were involved in the Ukraine war. So they're very good. And they're going to buy it. But do you think they're going to say, well, you use them, but 50 miles away from the front line? Who's going to know? <laughs> the buyer? I don't think so. Anyway, so that's it. And they will use them. Uh, and uh, the Ukrainians will receive uh, more airplanes. Maybe, maybe they will not. The Ukrainians will stop receiving uh, military aid, let's put it this way, nicely, weapons, you know, weapons, uh, when the, how do you call them, uh, the sponsors of peace on this planet, you know, the promoters of uh, peace on this planet will realize that they lost in Ukraine. Therefore, they say, stop, uh, don't waste uh, our resources anymore, pull back uh, and let's talk about something. If you're going to see that people don't send much, and I haven't heard the United Kingdom sending anything. Germany, I haven't heard them sending anything. France, I haven't heard. Italy, all I'm, I'm hearing is Poland. Poland sends whatever the Americans are giving them and whatever they had. And uh, the uh, Slovakia or Czech Republic or 
these kind of countries, okay? Those are or Latvia or Estonia or Lithuania, so these kind of countries. But you don't hear the big dogs. Uh, did, did you hear uh, uh, Canada, Trudeau sending anything? He sent what? Four tanks and then he sent four more? Eight tanks? That's eight shots. Really? Boom, 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 eight for you. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. Say they're done. They will be done by 23rd of May, right?